Get ready to sweat, do some burpees, and laugh with Equinox trainer Rainier Pollard. That's right, 30 minutes with no weight, so you got no excuse. Go grab a towel, because we're gonna get sweaty. Or, we all know I will. Okay guys, we're gonna start with some dynamic warm-ups today. I have Ali on my left and Tara on my right that's going to be doing most of our modifications today. Now today is important that you stay with me on my individual legs because we're doing unilateral training. We're staying on one leg for a while. So do not change legs till I tell you. Do not change legs till I tell you what I say. Don't change legs till I tell you. Thank you. I don't mean to start dramatic, but it probably wakes somebody <laughs> out there up. First, we're gonna start with left leg in front. We're doing a reverse lunge. Right foot comes back, both hands come overhead, drop that knee as low as you feel comfortable, and give me a nice tilt over that left leg, reaching towards the left, coming back to center, and pushing through that left leg to tap that right toe. Right back, repeat. We're gonna stay on these for a while. Oh, you gotta enjoy it, drop that back knee low. Now, if you have that next level flexibility like <laughs> me, you can drop that knee gently towards the ground as long as the emphasis is on gently. Get it down there. All the way down low. This is the part you're supposed to enjoy. Oh, I am. Feel that stretch down the right side of the body. If you're thinking I needed this, trust me, I'm there with you. This is our last one here. Back to center and up. That was horrible balance, but you're gonna see how Good, my balance can be. For the next exercise, we're gonna do a little leg swing. You'll get two opportunities at this. Right toe back, hands towards the left, and what I want you to do is come across the body and just swing. Let that right leg just swing effortlessly. Now here, you wanna really think about that core training. Pull that belly button in, because if you can control the center of your body, that's your best chance at controlling your balance. If you need to skip a little bit in the midst of all this, that is all good, rest. By the way, for those that don't know me, rest is the only word I say that means stop. We're gonna do that same leg on the leg swings, right toe back, hands to the left, go. Try a little bit more violent of a kick. A lot of times, people try to really just control that swinging leg, when you can have a lot of fun with this. And if you fall off balance, forgive yourself and get right back into the business. Five seconds, you see I'm dancing around. Yeah. It's all good, let those arms swing as a nice counterbalance and rest. Swing, baby, right? <laughs> exactly, let it happen. Be free, y'all, be free. Okay, let we're gonna go swing. right to the other side, left leg back, reaching, hands up towards the sky, and this time, reaching over that right leg, a nice tilt. How low can you go is always the song playing in my mind during every exercise video. It really applies, ooh, to every individual exercise. That will be stuck in my head now. <laughs> Couple days, thank you. Now you really wanna allow your weight to remain on that forward leg. As I'm dropping this knee down, I'm transferring as little weight as possible to that back leg so I can really feel the control through my balance and get down deep, activate that glute on the front leg, Let's get one more in, we can sneak it in. If you're doing this video multiple times and you really understand this move, rest. Feel free to speed it up as long as you're really getting in that nice active full range of motion. Okay, left toe back, hands to the right. Let it swing y'all, across. And remember, as I said, you wanna really drive in that belly button towards your spine. If you have that control at the center of the body, it's like your limbs have something to really hold on to, you know? Maybe you don't know, maybe you're just trusting my word on it. I get it, I get it. You. Thank you. And rest, just bouncing around like a crazy fool over there. So if you look wacky at home, don't worry. You can look to me and think, well, he does this all the time and he still looks crazy. <laughs> Hands to right, toes back, let's go. Kick it up. Okay, how fierce can we get with this? Honestly, you could throw the dab in. Boom, did you see it? <laughs> That's for the kids, that's for the kids. Rainier's still cool. Rainier's still cool. I tell myself that in the mirror, constantly. <laughs> Positive affirmations, people, if Oprah believes in it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Woo. rest. Nicely done, we're all warmed up. Mm -hmm. Let's get to some work. First off, we're gonna do a nice single leg crawl. Now, Tara's gonna um, stick to both legs on this, because I understand what I'm about to do might seem a little difficult. <laughs> Tara is with you, boo. So. I'm gonna lift my right leg behind, 
hands go as close to the left foot as possible. Crawl it forward, option push up, and crawl it right back. If you haven't already started to join me, join me right here. What did I say? No switching legs, right? No. Bend no. the knee, forward, option on that push up. Next option is a jump, land on the same leg, and right back forward. So we're gonna have this as a nice 40 second interval. I want you to prioritize good form. Have a nice plank here, lock that knee, a nice smooth push up. So you can move fast if that's what you're ready for, but form first, y'all. Yes. Push it, hello. Last one here. Ooh, and rest. Now, if I say rest and you're in the middle of an interval, you can finish that interval. Don't just stop there and fall <laughs> to the ground, finish it. Now, left leg, single leg burpees. Only 20 seconds at a time, so really give me your all here. Bend the knee, hands right in front, jump it back, push it up if you got it, in and up. If you Woo! haven't started, start it right now. Let's go. 20 seconds at a time, first jumps of the day. Let's get the business. It's only 20 seconds, work it hard. Tara's giving you a great modification. Who? getting low, we're right there. And rest. What I love about what Tara's doing is she gets into a plank first, then she drops her knees to the ground for the push-up. Second round, left leg, go. Just 20 seconds, let's go. Oh yes, starting to feel it, okay? <laughs> We want that left glute burning. We want that oh. quad working. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Push it high if you got it. Come on, we're right there. Oh, I'm gonna rush one more in there. I'm gonna rush one more. Get it. Okay. Oh, shabang. <laughs> to the good not part. Cute. No. I know, but They're hard. Hard. We They're get hard. to switch to the other leg now. There's always something to celebrate. <laughs> right foot down, left foot up, crawl it forward. Push it up if you got it. Going right back. Who's gonna jump? Me! Me! I love Maybe it. Once. See, you can use your breath to enjoy it. We know that. We! If you say <laughs> it, your body will believe it. Love this, this does not have to be a workout. It is adult playtime. Burpees are fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most genuine thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Just keep repeating it and it will be true. Yes. Burpees are fun. <laughs> Burpees are fun. Come on, last one. Keep it moving. Rest. Okay. We got two sets of 20 second single leg burpees. We know what's coming at us. We know how good it's gonna feel. So let's give it our all. Three. Left foot up. Three, two. Come and get it, y'all. Go. Let's get down. Right leg dominant. Get low. Up and push. If you're not jumping, this is still a very high skill level because you're standing up into a nice full balance. Ooh, if y'all didn't believe me when I said I was gonna sweat, I know you do now. Hello. If you Ooh. didn't know, now you do. Ooh, rest. Yes. Okay, one more round. One more round, then we will be on our back. Should I lower this back down? Okay. Ah. Ready? One more time, go. Come on. Come and get it. Yeah. I know I have those of you at home moving faster than me. You've let me know in the comment section before. I am not jealous. I like it. I want you to beat me. I'm here to motivate. I'm here to inspire. Get this work. Oh, yes. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Rest. Is that really our first Tabata that I know is just growling like a fool? I'll give a high five, though. Yes. With one. Get it out there. Boom. I was gonna hold it high so she had to jump, but I know she's tired. We're so on I the didn't rest, do it. Making you still work. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, a little towel action, make it look cute, and let's lie back. Okay. So next up, we're gonna have single leg hip thrusters. Left leg only. Left leg only. Say it again. Left leg, left leg only. only. My left foot is down. My right ankle is crossed over my left knee. I'm gonna push through my heel. Start with me here. Now, ways to make this easier. Keeping your right hands around your hips will give you a nice um, center of base. 
That was not the word I wanted to use, but a wider base of support. You're making me <laughs> Right leg straight up will make it a little bit harder. And so we'll hands yeah. to the back of the head. So we're just thrusting. I love booty squeezing. time. Hello. You know, this is community service. Giving people something nice to look at when you're walking away. You know what I'm saying? Making the world a better place. That's what I'm trying to do. And rest. Now, you can stay at that level, or I'm gonna go into a slight plyometric, left leg only, pushing through, and notice how my left heel lands before my butt. So if you're gonna join me there, I want you to make sure you make that happen. Go. I'm pushing through my elbows, right? I don't want the weight transferring to my neck and my head, but I want to give a little bit of support by pushing through the elbows and controlling the descent, landing as soft as possible. Last moments here, and rest. You see how they let her not do these jumps. I know she could, but she was like, maybe I'll try it on the very last one. Yeah. One more time. Right leg up, go. Then soft on that left leg. Easy, how gently can it be? How you feeling? I see you. I see you getting at it. Okay, heel lands before your butt taps the ground. Oh, I feel it. Oh, yes. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. And rest. Oh, okay. And right when that left hamstring is feeling all good and used, it's time to go to the next leg. Left leg, ankle over that right knee, and start that squeeze. Again, your hands can stay by your side, or they can go behind your head. And yes, those single hip thruster jumps are most likely for my more advanced viewers, but you know, this video will be up for years. You can work your way there. Left leg straight up if it feels good for you, pushing through. And when you tap your butt to the ground, it's not a resting period, it is literally a tap. Your booty is giving the ground a little kiss, like a little peck on the cheek. You get what I'm saying here? It's not a makeout session, <laughs> just a little peck. You dig? Okay, one more and rest, okay. So I'm gonna be going to that single leg plyometric. Um, if you wanna to go to where we left off, it is all good. I'll do that part. <laughs> Fair enough. Ready? Let's hit it. So the leg that is not working is still providing a little bit of power. So you can see, I'm using it almost to help me kip up, but my working leg is always absorbing all the force upon the landing. Ooh, okay, right leg wants to feel it earlier. I understand, that's all good. Ooh, one more good one. Rest. Now, don't be surprised if one leg feels more fatigue on an exercise than the other. It's how the body works. Just notice it and keep it pushing. Last set, go. Come on, hello. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting some height. Am I trying to show off? No, I'm trying to inspire. Okay, push it up. Let's go. Ooh, last moments here. Come on, short interval, short interval. End on a good one. Ooh, I can fit another. Rest. Well done, y'all. Okay. So, now we're gonna transition to some good back work. And we're gonna do that on the knees with some bird dogs. You've probably done it before. I suggest folding a little piece of the mat over so the knees are comfortable. We wanna work hard, but we can do it in style. Now, the next exercise with these bird dogs, normally you'd have your toes down. I'm gonna ask for my advanced levels to keep their feet up. And the only way you will be successful is if you are really pulling the abs in and engaging. When I say pulling the abs in, I don't mean just flexing, I mean swallowing that belly button in. You know when you're in a dressing room trying something on for the first time, you wanna take a picture and see if it looks right and you suck it in really hard and you're like, I'm always this skinny. That's what I'm looking for here, brace and support, and that will be the way to make this core exercise really work for you. So, stack your shoulders directly over your wrists, feet up for my advanced level folk, and we're only gonna start with the left arm coming up for a nice rear delt raise, and I want you to use the muscles in your back to get that arm up rather than throwing the arm. Our next level, is going to be extending the right leg and lifting that left arm and trying to bring them back together. Now you can do this entire exercise with the toes down and feel comfortable and within control. 
One thing that always helps me is to think about the arm that's actually on the ground. The right arm here is working really hard as well to push the ground away. Just a couple more moments. Ooh, open, yes, have a moment here. Find that balance, don't rush it, especially on the way back down. Gravity is not your friend, it's always just trying to bring you down. Fight it, okay, and rest. Okay, if you need um, a little child's pose or anything of the sort, feel free. But we're gonna evolve to um, being in beast position, where my knees are still directly underneath my hips, and we're gonna be moving the same arm not the leg, maybe in the next iteration of this workout. So first off, knees up off the ground. You can stay here, this is a perfect core exercise, working everything, or push that right hand into the ground, left arm up, ease it back down. Try to keep the knees completely still as you make this happen. Ooh, that's it, shoulders away from the ears. What does that cue do for you? Let's try one more, we'll have a break, and rest. If you um, don't want to do beast, if you don't want your knees off the ground, you can stay at what we were doing in the last level, opposite arm and leg. Everybody else, go. Push the ground away with the right arm. Try to keep those knees right in the same position as you're opening up for that rear delt raise. Squeeze the scapula together as you raise the palm or the back of your hand towards the ceiling. Ooh, you better get it and rest. You hear that silence from these two? That's called concentration. That's what you need right now. We're gonna go to the other side. Remember, we start with the feet up, and I'm gonna start with only the right hand, lifting, squeezing. I think this is my stronger side, so um, if you're gonna send this video to anybody of this exercise, start, get this video clip right here. <laughs> you can add <laughs> that left leg up, right arm out, and ease it back to center. It's almost like, the most important part is how you come down slow and controlled. That's where you're really gonna build the strength, even if you're coming up wobbly, as some of mine may be. Ooh, I'm still happy. Low standards keep you happy in this life, people. That's my advice. <laughs> I meant it. Ooh, last one here. Ah, control it, control it! Rest, I got it, come on. That was a good finish, you know it. Okay. We're gonna go back into that beast position. Right arm is moving only, or neither arm for the modified version. Knees up and open. If you do wanna try the beast and you feel like, oh, this is just so rough, what you can do is always keep the knees um, directly in line with the hips, but bring your toes out wider. And, ooh, I'm doing that to example it for you, not because I wanted to make this easier for myself just so you all realize, rest, that I'm actually being selfless by exampling the easier option. You're welcome, I care about all of you. Okay, one more set. Knees up, abs in tight, go. All right, I'm open and close, just like that. Flex, squeeze, and easy, low. Ooh, I'm making a nice little puddle here. Woo! This is gonna be good, because you know, it's warm in here, and then I can just lay in this puddle. It'll be so refreshing. Oh, I'm yes. really looking forward to it. <laughs> Ooh, last one. Make it good. Ease it down and rest. I'm going swimming. It's like you're swimming in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was gross. That was actually really gross. Okay, everybody up. We got to get this heart rate up. I know it looks like I yeah. just ran a 5K, <laughs> but I'm going to make your heart rate feel like you just ran a 5K right now. So. Again, single leg on this exercise. We're gonna be doing a squat, a jump, land, and the right foot back. The right foot goes back for the entire two minutes of this next exercise. So do not switch, do not switch. Somebody already out there just already switched. I didn't even start the exercise, you already switched. I'm not mad at you though. Okay, drop your booty. We're gonna start with that jump, ready? Push it, stay low, right leg back. And I love what Tara's doing. She's still giving me a little bit of power by exploding up onto her toes and not going for the jump. So if you are someone that can't do plyometrics, don't say you can't exercise. There's always ways around when you believe. We 
believe. Hello. <laughs> and rest. Did it just turn into church in here? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Put a little more chutzpah. I'm gonna try and hit my head on the ceiling. Okay, go. Ah! Ooh, did I get good air? Did I get it? Let me see, let me go. Ah! Sometimes I wanna see if I'm just gonna fly, if I really just take off. One day I'm just gonna keep on going. You'll never hear from me again. What's your ear doing? Somewhere out there flying? That's my retirement plan. Woo! Come on, y'all. And rest. Good job. We're still on the right leg. Now, no more squat jumps. When we get the right leg back, we're gonna do one skip, land in the lunge, and then come back to the squat, okay? So it's in five seconds. Let's do it together. Start with the squat, and right foot back, skip, land in the lunge, back to the squat. We're gonna get one big 40 second interval here, even though I already regret that because my left leg is burning. Now, I love this modification. It does not feel that much easier. You were coming up <laughs> into a full single leg balance, still having that knee drive. Oh, oh, it burns. Woo! 15 seconds, you better feel it. Come through. Feel it. I know, you better. I don't know if you have a choice, okay? Get into it. This is when the workout starts, when the burn is there. Woo, That's woo. what we want. Rest. Woo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're a little tired. The heart rate's up. But guess what? Right leg wants a little love. You can't cheat the right leg. Don't be like that. Okay? I'm ready for it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you are, because I wasn't. <laughs> Left foot's going to go back after the squat jump. Go. Yep. And left leg back. You notice a lot of times, I keep my hands right in front of my chest or in front of my sternum, and that's to help me stay nice and tall. Keeping my upper body high, forcing my abs to work, even though this is our leg section. Woo. Ooh, and rest. It's called getting more bang for your buck, people. We wanna work these legs, but who doesn't like getting a little core training in mm -hmm. at the same time? I love a bargain. <laughs> and go, jump it, and left leg back. Push it, ha! Woo! Okay, this is what I think about you, gravity! Ah! I thought that was gonna be the time I really took off, I really believe. <laughs> Come on, Ooh. one day at a time, one day at a time. Someday, Ooh. I will get up there, rest. I plan to be a star. You are, baby, right? Oh, you stop are. it, I was fishing for a compliment, you caught it, she caught it! Okay, taking the left leg back, we're gonna get a skip. Everybody drop the hips, and left leg back, skip it, wee, and back in. Skip. Okay, <laughs> left foot back, skip, wee. It's like, every time you skip, you just gotta think, wee. I'm a kid again, you know? <laughs> Why don't adults skip? Skipping is great. I miss skipping. I was always that kid in third grade, skipping to class. Why don't you just start <laughs> skipping everywhere? I'm gonna try, maybe we can bring it back. I'll make an Instagram video and one of my 15 followers might re-insta story it. And you know, it'll get me popping. <laughs> I'm like, it's the Rainier skip. Everybody's doing it. Ooh, last one here, come on. Push it and bring it Woo! and rest it. Woo. Okay. Okay, that could have been worse. I think we did that, I'm proud of that. We did. Okay, <laughs> let's come down and get the exercise that um, I've been dreading the most since we started. <laughs> Save the best for last. Right, the best it. for last, love it's that. It's the abs, you guys are always like, we need more abs, can I get more abs with the abs <laughs> in the video? Here's some abs for you, we're just gonna make it burn. Okay. First, drive your knees into your chest. You can really hug them there. And when you exhale, really flex those abs, let all the air out. Now, right elbow to your left knee, sorry, right elbow to your right knee, and extend the left leg, and your left hand overhead. We're just gonna hold here, okay? I want the bottom of your body to almost look like a C right now, okay? A really wide C, like one that was just like sprawled open. Now to make this easier, you can lift your left leg higher in the air, hold it, keep hollowing out that body, pushing that belly button down, driving that right knee into the right elbow, and Rest. Okay, that wasn't even the hard part. Now, we're gonna try to hold that same formation and rock. Um, 
our um, moderate or easier level can be staying with what we just did, but you know, for the rest of us, we're stepping it up. <laughs> okay, so pretend you're the bottom of a rocking chair. I don't even want you to really get on your butt or your sit bone. You're really just staying as much on your full back, like you're getting like some kind of myofascial release. Ooh, and I want you to squeeze those abs for dear life. Don't let your elbow get away from that quad. Last couple seconds and rest. Nice. Okay. Simple. We got this. One more time in four seconds. Nothing to it. Let's go. Rock it out. Ooh, here it is. Now I'm trying to point my toe so some of my dancer friends can be very impressed with me. They really appreciate that kind of form cueing. So I'm sticking with it. Last couple moments, y'all. Again, try to stay off that butt. And stay on your back. Oh, there it is. I feel it. Come on now. Oh. And rest. Woo. Okay. You think that's hard? Wait till we have to try the second side. It starts very soon. We're coming back. You can start it with that same way that we started the last side, bringing those knees almost into your chest. Left knee, the, um, the left elbow, extend the right side of the body and hold. Whew. You know, one of the sides has to go second, people. This isn't me trying to be cruel. It just has to be that way. So, oh, okay, maybe I regret making these holds 40 seconds. Maybe I do a little bit. You know what's great for you at home? You guys can pause. You can pause things. You can totally remix this workout and be like, I don't want to do this for 40 seconds. I'm going to pause this, press play, and continue with them. Oh, 10 seconds. Now I'm just trying to talk myself through the pain. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't affect the timer. And rest. Oh okay. my God. That okay. Was, that was a. Now it burns. <laughs> now it burns. And while it burns, it's important that you focus on this form. Don't give me something nasty here. Let's finish with some good spirit. Okay. Left knee, left elbow, and let's rock the boat. Rock the boat. Oh. Work the middle. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad. If I had a bunch of millennials in here, they'd be like, what is he singing? Okay. Oh. I do love the millennials, though. They make really good memes. Oh. I think one of you made a <laughs> meme for me last time, and I loved it. I don't know how they do it. Oh. I sound like my dad. It's very embarrassing. Oh. Okay. We can make it. Okay, we got we it. Can. We rest. got this. Rest. Woo. I was going to add on like five seconds, because um, I do like that Ali feels tortured right now. <laughs> Okay, one more time. Let's finish this. Let's just on the Go. <laughs> Ooh. Truly, so I love good. it. Uh, it is good a good for time. Us. Good for I'm us. thinking about all the candy that Pop Sugar has left over that I'm going to be <laughs> eating right after this. And I'm going to say that out loud uh. so people know the real me. Oh, yes. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Oh, it feels like it's working. Okay. Okay, rest. Woo! I did add on a couple seconds there because I like to be a man of my word. Okay, y'all. That's it. We finished all the Tabatas. It is. And we're going to get on these knees tabata, tabata. and get a nice stretch. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Should we do a photo shoot of my abs right now? This, you I know when you it. feel like you got yes. an instant six pack? <laughs> oh, my goodness. OK. I feel like you want to show them. You could show them. Yeah. What? I am so shy. I would never. Stop. Oh, but I will wipe my sweat with my shirt. <laughs> hey, I got you, boo. <laughs> Always looking out. So, um, we've been uh, working our body unilaterally, now we're gonna stretch unilaterally. First, I have my left knee down on that cushion. As you can see, I've flattened out my back foot so I can get a stretch to the foot as well. First, I want you to squeeze your butt. You can even like kind of slap it, make sure that it's turned on and squeezing so we can start to stretch the hip flexor. Now I want you to push your left hip towards the left as you reach your right hand towards the right. Okay, Ooh. now that feels good enough, but now I want you to turn towards the right. And you're pulling your left hand towards the back of the room and pushing your hips towards the front of the room. Breathe through it, use your breath. It is your friend, not your enemy. Fill your body with your breath, finding where you feel the most tight. Exhale. And get deeper into the stretch just a bit. Oh yes, that worked. And coming out of it, we're gonna bring the left toe underneath the foot and sit back. 
Now I immediately bring my right toe up. Um, for a lot of people, this may be as far as the stretch is gonna go. Anybody that'd like to take it to the next level, push your hips back as you reach your left hand forward, getting a nice hamstring stretch on the right side. Next, we're gonna reach the right hand back, open up, open up. Take a deep breath and reach even further, stretching the chest. Exhale, lean forward and reach your right hand front to the front. So my hips are still pushing to the back of the room. My right hand is reaching to the front. Ooh, yes. And again, same deal. Nice deep breaths to where you feel the tightest. <sighs> Exhale, relax into it a little bit more. Ooh. And coming on up. Now, we're gonna get a quick single pigeon. What I like to do is actually put my hand underneath my foot because I notice there's a tendency of it sliding south as I lower myself. Now, the higher your foot is in reference to your knee, the more you're gonna feel your piriformis stretch, which is basically a fancy word for your booty. So I like to hold it in place as I lower down. If you're not as flexible and this ankle and um, right heel needs, um, comes closer to your hip, that is fully um, available and reasonable. If you'd like the stretch to be deeper, I like to scoop my left knee back just a couple inches. Oh, and it gets you right into that stretch. Next up, mosey your chest over that ankle, over your foot, and feel that stretch as you get lower and lower. It feels like some kind of monster movie. I'm just like, I'm coming <laughs> at you. Oh, okay. Whew. Relax into it, you deserve this. This is your reward. Whew. Gently coming back up onto the hands. We're gonna get this right knee back onto the cushion and trade out the left leg in front. So let's start from scratch with the right side, squeezing the butt on the right side. You can kind of slap it, poke it, make sure it's on, thrust it forward just a bit, then Reach your right hand to the left as you push your hips to the right. Grab onto that right wrist, giving a little bit more of a pull towards the left. And you're counterbalancing by pushing your hips towards the right. And then you're gonna slowly turn towards the left, looking over that back shoulder, the left shoulder. Remember your right foot is flat here, so you get a good stretch to the front of the foot as well. All the way through that front line, breathing through. <sighs> Let's come out of it. I'm gonna tuck my toe under my right foot, left foot out in front, sitting back. And again, if this is enough for you, stay here, enjoy, do you. Anybody that'd like more, right hand can reach towards that left leg. You can see my quad shaking just a bit because my legs are tired. Left hand goes back. Nice deep breath, reach that left hand for the back of the room. Open up the chest, exhale forward. And you're still trying to push the hip back as you reach the left hand forward. And let's come on and out. Final stretch, single pigeon on the left leg. Coming down into it gently. Again, the higher your ankle is in proximity to that same side knee, the higher the level of difficulty. Easing down. Once I'm down here, that's when I like to slide my right knee back just a little more. And mosey your upper body over that foot. Ooh. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and reach those arms if you got it. Oh, I felt it. It's real. This is how I say I love you to myself. <laughs> it's a little self care. <sighs> Always taking those deep breaths. The places that you feel are resisting the most, fill them with oxygen. Help them. <sighs> okay. Some people probably just went to sleep. <laughs> Let's bring it back onto the hands. We're gonna take the feet back, 
Knees back, we can have a short moment in child's pose before taking our hands to the side of the knees, pushing up on the feet, still letting the upper body hang heavy. Oh, some more deep breaths in through the nose, exhale out the mouth, just let the arms hang heavy. Shake your head now. Just rid yourself of any negative thoughts that may be creeping into your head, any judgments. Shake your head yes to all the positive affirmations that you deserve. And bend the knees, hug the upper body, deep breath, exhale up. Ooh, and that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Great job, guys. Oh, you. you want a double high five? I'm going to give it. Yes, Whoa. there it is. Good job, Ali. Good job. <laughs>